This is for old Volgovodians about how to tackle the leak of this troublesome oil faucet that bothers everyone. It's clear that the faucet itself, the base, the pan, the starter, the block, the bell, the boxes, the levers are constantly in oil. So in order to... For replacement to eliminate the leak, a new oil hose was purchased. It is an oil hose crimped, made in Ukraine, and they promised that it should hold. Hence, a deep tube was made here, a holder for the tip of the hose, a copper tip for pressing it into the faucet. The faucet is Chinese, not a factory gas one, but a Chinese one. The difference in price is almost four times. They said the quality is the same. These come and work as happens. That's the original gas. So I didn't see the point in overpaying. Uh, the Teflon tape is ordinary household construction and there will also be a sealant. You'll see him working, Manolovsky. Next came the turn of that same old faucet. Here it stands, you can clearly see it, and the oil hose. It goes in a springy protection to the oil radiator. All right, let's start with the radiator. It's here for convenience so that you can reach up and unscrew this horrid clamp. I have completely removed these cold air intake pipes and now in some way it doesn't work where it should. We need to unscrew it. This clip, yeah, just a little bit, it wasn't particularly tight. We unscrew it a bit and pull the hose off the radiator. Well, I need two holes here, but I suppose it's clear. I removed everything. The details of this system, how to remove it. You'll figure it out yourself. It's definitely cool. Now, about the hose, I bought a new hose, and you can see how much shorter it is than the factory one. So, unfortunately, I won't change the hose. But in principle, this hose is still holding on here for now. I'll figure it out in the store. They gave me a short hose, if I change anything later. Well, the picture is already clear. Then the old faucet and the new faucet. This is the thing that is screwed into the block. I have also unscrewed it. If I'm not mistaken, it's called a pressure reducing valve. It unscrews like this. What's inside it? There is a spring and a ball inside it. What is this thing for? This thing basically regulates the automatic release of oil into the radiator when the pressure increases at high speeds. And the pressure also increases with temperature. It's like a thermostat on this thing here. Under pressure, the valve releases oil into the radiator. It's just the same as all other threaded connections. That is, a faucet connection, a hose connection. Here it screws into this one, and the plug of this valve will be seated on Teflon tape. This is the red sealant, which according to the manufacturer can withstand up to 
300 degrees. So I've already screwed the first one tightly as I usually do. This means we coat the threads with a thin layer of sealant and then screw the sealant onto the thread so that it will twist as we complete the action. This is how it looks. Position it like so, making sure that when we tighten it, it's tightened behind us. We again apply a thin layer of sealant on the funnel, then screw it into the thread. Now you'll see the finished result. Here's the first thin layer of sealant and the tape wound on top in two layers. You can see where the tip is to ensure that it tightens itself in two layers as it twists here. A layer of sealant tape on top makes the third layer. Here is the third layer of sealant on top of the tape. That's it. Now we're screwing this combination into the block and after doing so we screw the oil tap here using the same combination. The valve is replaced by this combination from the tap. So I decided to keep the new hose because the old one already had small micro cracks. I extended it using a copper tube, two clamps, sealant and the missing piece from the old hose which is in good condition like this I finished installing the valve faucet and hose this is the result uh. it doesn't rub against the starter mm -hmm. I made sure to fasten the hose firmly to the manifold with a clamp. I did this because when the engine wobbles and the hose is hooked onto the mud guard, this hose fastening can come loose. Here is how tightly it's tightened. We can fasten it as much as we deem necessary. Here, we set the connection to the side, start it, and connect everything. You can visit my website testpage.ru, to learn more. You can watch and read about traveling around the country, particularly in this car. There will definitely be a link under the video for all the resources. Also, subscribe to Nick Testranik on the drive. Thank you, everyone. Wish you all good luck. Goodbye.